Hey everyone, so we've got another image sent in to us to edit, and as you can see, we've got some really golden and blue tones. So remember, all these details will be down in the description, so you can go give them a follow down there. So looking at this feed, you can see there's a lot of blue tones in the shadows and a lot of warm tones in the highlights, and it creates a really nice color contrast that I really, really like. So if you guys also really like this, he does have his presets available over at filter grade so you can come over there and check these out if you like he's also got a really underrated youtube channel so definitely come check this out as well and we're going to get into lightroom and see if we can create an edit similar to this one right here so let's get into it here we have our edited final image from his Instagram. We've also got the raw file and it's very dark at the moment. So just if we brighten it up, we can see the unedited version. So obviously we've got to warm it up, add some cool tones in there and flatten out the image a little. So first thing I'm going to do is really bring up the warmth and I'm going to really drop the contrast and keep in mind um, this might be just for this photo he might not do this every photo so I'm just going by what I see in this edit so as you can see we don't have any whites or highlights really popping off the image it's all quite flat with a lot of shadows in there it's quite a dark image so we're going to really drop these blacks these whites there's not many in there but keeping them down okay so I'm going to do all the curves now Okay, so that's the curves done and I've kept it very flat and then brought up those shadows to create a bit of a fade there. So keeping this flat keeps those highlights nice and flat and doesn't create a pop to the image, keeps it nice and flat. So S curve, red, green and blue channel gives it a bit of contrast. And moving on, so we are going to do let's drop the saturation of a few things uh, luminance so now I'll do some split turning so we want some blue in those shadows And then we want some warmth in the highlights and what I find is we want to almost put a red in there just what I find works quite well because this warmth gives you quite a yellowy yellow warmth and then when you put a little bit of a reddish warmth in the highlights you're left with a nice orange Right, so so I want to move a lot of these to more of a yellow or red.
Not many magentas or purples in there. Um, saturation. And onto luminance. I'm going to deepen these reds. Maybe back down on the luminance. Orange. And the yellows. So luminance just affects the brightness and deepness of colors. So it will also affect saturation. Uh, moving on. I think I'll get rid of the sharpening because it's very soft creamy looking photo and there's definitely quite a bit of grain bit of grain here's a before after so far so as you can see we uh, have very pink and bright hands here so it's going to be very hard for us to get our oranges nice deep saturated tones in this image because they're so white in this image and bright so I think we should do some brushing on them so I'd grab a brush just paint all over and then bring up saturation And I might just bring highlights down a bit. Again, keeping it nice and flat. It looks a bit better. And um, one of the things that makes this image very good is all the leading lines. So we've got a leading line here, leading line here. The arms are leading lines. And it's all leading to the center of the image and i think this zipper here it could act like another leading line so i think we should try brushing it i think it might have been brushed maybe not but we'll brighten it up and it will just act like another leading line bracket key make your brush nice and small Just gonna bring up the exposure. See how that looks. Looks a little better. And what I might try to do is just lift those dark areas a bit. I think it looks a little harsh. What I probably have to do now is bring up the shadows because that darkened it a bit.
and then I think I might just take a tad of blue out of the shadows desaturate those oranges just a tad I want to try to get rid of that green out of that jacket because the original color was very green so I'm just gonna leave it there guys comment down below who you guys want to see and you can go give him a follow down in the description I'll put his YouTube down there as well I think it's really good and yeah comment who you guys want to see but keep it under a certain amount of followers say maybe 50,000 that way I can reach out to them they can send in a photo and I can do a tutorial on them so yeah comment like and I'll see you in the next one